Are we doing another phone call? No, I got to get out of here. I got to run to something. No, I want to do got... one more, Gary. Okay, let's do it. Real let's fast. do one more because I feel like like this next kid. Well, I used to, like, I used to like might not be a kid. I used to be on you know on the online, and I felt like if I don't answer like the next kid, I miss out let's on like, the great one. Go. So I feel like this next kid might be special. I'm just feeling something. Who was the person you were looking at on YouTube? The person right before Justin. Oh, he was an artist. That a- <laughs> That's so amazing. He was an artist. He was he was an artist. That a- he was an artist that Akon had. I can't remember his name. He was an Hello, artist that Akon had. Brooke. Brooke, it's Gary Vaynerchuk. You're on the Ask Gary V Show with Scooter Braun. Hi. Oh my God. Um, Brooke, a- before you do anything, you need to thank Scooter this tremendously. I'm about to be late for something. <laughs> he pushed me because he has that kind of energy. You need to really thank Scooter for this moment. Scooter, hey. thank you so much. Um, this is it. So. My name is Brooke Johnson. We'll sign I you. have applied for an internship with your company for several several years now since Brooke, I graduated. Brooke, since this I is the greatest college. moment. Brooke, I am you have made my <laughs> fucking life. Brooke, good news. Yeah, you've you've, made no, my Brooke, day you don't right even now. know. You've got the job. It's done. You've got the job. <laughs> SB projects, you're you're locked in. It's done. It's done. I'm I will private. do everything. I will cancel my life to make this happen, Brooke. You are an intern in for SB. It's done. Brooke, I'm telling you, it's done. Scooter, Congratu- I, I no, no, went Brooke, to LA. Congra- say thank you, Congra- congratulations, Brooke, this is going. done. Brooke, Brooke, where do you live? Scooter, so I, I, drove, I went to LA last week. Um, I bought a $100 plane ticket just to go down there because I was, I was like, hey, I'm gonna get some coffee with CEOs because no one's, no one's calling. I live in Seattle, Washington, actually Puyallup, Washington. Um, <laughs> Keep going, Brooke. This is the moment um, of my life. So, I, I flew down to LA and I was like, I'm gonna get some coffee with CEOs because nobody, nobody was biting on any of my applications that Love I was throwing in. Sony, yep. Live Nation, Keep going. nothing. Keep going. And so I got a few interviews, um, but when I was down there, I got pickpocketed. I got my phone stolen. I got in a really bad car accident. Jesus. I was T-boned and thrown into an intersection. All right, Brooke, first of all, I'm going to give you, I'm well, give you no, money no, for no, the no, rights no. to your story. Well, I want this movie. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. I had the biggest interview of my life the next day at 9 a.m. And Who was it with? I, Who was it with? Um, it was with Adidas. It was, uh, Adidas. Okay, keep going. It, I signed an NDA, so I can't tell you much. But, Go ahead. Um, <laughs> it was a big, big, big job, and I... So, so they, they interview me, blah, blah, blah. Um, but I got an email last week. They were like, hey, we're moving our offices. So um, I was like, oh, great. Uh, I don't know what to do, and I want to work in L.A. Uh, Brooke, I have a question um, for you. What do you want to do? I want to change the world. I understand that. But what in details, to- Brooke, don't blow your fucking shot here <laughs> with some fucking ideology <laughs> bullshit. Okay. Brooke, uh, Brooke I wanna- do not ideology Brooke. your fucking life into the wrong Brooke, direction. Brooke, what kind of job were you I looking wanna for? I want to inspire... I'm looking for marketing. I want to inspire people to inspire themselves. Okay, to, Brooke, to hold on, hold on. Brooke, Brooke, you go one Brooke. more ideology step and Scooter's going to kill <laughs> okay, you and okay, hang okay. up on you. Brooke. Don't give me any Brooke. more 2019 <laughs> horse shit. Get real practical here right now. This is the moment of your life. You're going to watch this video every day for the rest of your life. And if you do one more ideological fucking theoretical bullshit thing here when he's looking for practicality, I'm going to punch you in the nose. Okay, Brooke, here, here's my question for you. You say yeah. marketing. What gives you experience in marketing? Anything? What gives me experience? Can you repeat that? What, what, did what you kind do? of experience what, do you what, have? What was on the resume? Anything yet or nothing? I have a little bit of marketing experience. I was the president of the American Marketing Association at my university. I successfully got a seven thousand dollars through. Um, oh God! Don't worry, you're fine. <laughs> I'm, I'm still here, Brooke. I through like I didn't sell anything. I just went to That's my okay. Zumba class and. Yep. And these women, I, I got these women on board with my, my ideas and they were like, yeah, we'll, we'll give you some money. And so I walked out of the YMCA one day with a thousand dollars and it's things like that. that okay. So I'm Brooke, here's really my question at. for you. Can I just out of curiosity, give me your background, your parents, like what did they do? Um, my mom's a single mom. She, my, my dad's completely out of the picture. Um, so Brooke, let me get this straight. You're a young lady who I assume was a single mom. Like you, you're, you got student loans. Yes, I have a lot of student loans, yeah. So, so you, got, you got student loans, you're grinding, you're going to school, you're making things happen, you have a dream of marketing, you buy a $100 plane ticket and just show up in LA, somehow you got an interview, they've decided to move on, all the other people wouldn't meet with you, you got pickpocket, everything else, and, <laughs> and then how did you find out about this tonight? You were just watching Gary's Instagram? What's yeah, it? one of my friends told me I needed to follow Gary V because he was like, hey, Brooke, like, so, get your so, head so, out of your butt and so, figure it out. So Brooke, here, here's my thing, right? You, you, okay, so I want to explain what happened. You, uh, Gary needs to go. 
And Gary, we just did a call with a guy and I just said, look, my whole life experience, it's always been that last one when I'm about to leave, like answer one more, that something very special happens. So we decided you were the one special. I said, Gary, one more. So that's why he was saying everything else. So, so what I'm saying to you is, I get in a lot of trouble with my staff when I meet people in the street and they ask for an internship and I say yes. I've literally you been- You are super pissed with me right now because no. I just did it. You no, know, listen, I, I am actually told I'm not allowed to do that anymore by my own company because I get in so much trouble for giving rant and, and usually they, they yeah. turn out to not always be Yeah, they're always shit, they're always yeah. shit. <laughs> but, oh no, I, I, I'm a good investment. No, no, no I know, no, but, no, but, but, but- Here's the thing. It's always and shit, by way, bro, it's, don't worry It's though. usually always shit, but it's worked out a couple times. Yeah, and one time fucking nets out, and guess what? That's why Scooter and I have fucking companies, not the fucking henchmen here in okay. the corner. Okay, so, so here's what I'm gonna say to you, Brooke. Um, I, when you graduate, I already did. Yeah, I she's ready to fucking May. roll, Scooter. Okay, and, and you and you want to work for free? You said you just want an internship? Well, minimum wage would be terrible. I will work for free. I'm I'm planning on moving down to Los Angeles within the week, regardless of if I get a job or not. And, where, um, how, and how do, what about money to live? How are you going to afford to live in L.A.? Um, I have a cousin who told oh, me that I can perfect. rent a room for three fifty. dollars Brooke, cousin, yes. So in San Clarita. And so I was like, yep. okay, I'll take that up. I don't yep. know. I don't know what to figure gonna, it out, Brooke. It's gonna leave and so eat eat okay. shit. I'm Brooke, my fucking car this shit. Weekend. Brooke, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna get your information. I'm breaking my rule. This is not for any kid watching. I'm, you meet me in the street. I'm not breaking my rule again. Don't get it. This twisted. is never happening again. Okay. But what I'm gonna tell you is I follow, like the universe has fixed my life plenty of times. I was telling Gary earlier, like when I don't really know, sometimes it shows it for me. You need a break. And I think sometimes in life, I was talking to Gary Brooke, about luck. Brooke, start fucking crying. Yeah, Brooke, 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 I want to explain this. I was, talking to, I was talking to Gary about luck earlier. And what I mean by that is, and I never got to explain it. I have friends who I know are as smart as me and have worked as hard as me and have not had the success in life because along the way, they just didn't get the breaks. And I always tell them, yeah. keep going. The breaks are waiting for you. The breaks are waiting for you. Sometimes it happens earlier in life. I got lucky it happened earlier in life. And sometimes it happens later in life. And sometimes I, it happens on the Ask Gary V show. And I think tonight happened on the Ask Gary V show. So I don't know what it will turn into, but you deserve a break. So I don't, I'm not giving you a job yet, but I'm going to give you the internship. And what I'm going to do is- unlike, We're going to pay you minimum wage unlike, too, Brooke. But unlike the other interns, I'm going to actually make sure that like you and I, you know, that I put you on a couple projects, you know, to make sure that I see what you can do on the marketing side. And that's why we and did Brooke, the extra phone Brooke, call. even better. It gets way better because I'm not letting fucking Scooter here out Oprah me. So on top of that, because you want to do marketing, I'm flying you. I'm paying for all this shit. I'm flying you to New York. I'm putting you up in a hotel for a week and or at D-Rock's house. I haven't figured it out yet. And you're going to work here at Vayner for a week. But what if I want to hire you? No, 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 really? stick with me real quick. You're gonna, you're gonna work with my team for a week. We're gonna give you all the secret sauce so that when you go back to Scooter's Land, you're not just doing some YMCA hustle, you're doing 2019 perfect marketing. You're coming here for a week, we're gonna teach you as much as we can in a week. You're gonna work 19 hours a day like our crew does, then you're gonna go back to Scooter's World and eventually be the CMO of fucking Scooter Braun Projects. So Brooke, we're gonna, we're, gonna, we're, we're gonna figure this out. The other thing, the one thing I want you to promise me though, if we do this, you gotta only promise me one thing. I'm all yours. Okay, I I just want you to call your mom when you're done and thank her because I, I'm raising kids with two parents and it's hard already. And the fact that your mom has been a single mom and raised someone with this kind of ambition, that's a beautiful thing and she probably put a lot of sacrifices and you don't even know. So I just want you to call her and say thank you, I caught a break tonight. I don't know what it'll turn into, but I'm glad, I could hear you need a break. So you got your break tonight. And Brooke, and I got one request. Are you a Seahawks fan? Uh, Well, I I know you guys are Jets fans, but yeah, go. Go Hawks, okay, you now have to become a New York Jets fan. Like right now, <laughs> like there's nothing else to say. Like uh, Russell is a great guy. Like Pete Carroll, former Jets coach. But right here, right now, you have to tell the world you are now a New York you Jets have fan. Information? Okay. Would you guys trade your Would you guys trade your football team for this? <laughs> Uh, I like? would not, but good news, I can fucking do anything with myself. Well, You're Gary, looking, you know what? Hold I would on, not. Hold on. This is, let a, me tell you, hold on, I don't want you to answer Brooke, this, Brooke. I need to say something. Now I really like you. The problem with football fans, and this is why as a Jets fan, I respect Eagles fans and other people, yeah. is that there are all these people that are only fans when they're winning. They're yeah. fair weather fans. Yeah. Jets fans, we've yeah. been hearing about Joe Willie yeah. Namath our entire yeah. lives. Yeah. We're real fans. Yes. We fight. The fact that she just got this yes. break and still had the guts that to was tell guts. us. I'm staying a Seahawks fan. Yep. Brooke, I fuck with you. Brooke, on the other <laughs> hand, I don't. So I'm taking everything I'm taking everything I offered off the table. No New York, no D-Rock house, no flight here. You have to go straight to fucking Scooter's world and you can knock on YMCA doors and fucking sell some albums. I don't fucking know. I'm out. 
scooters Mary, in. I'll, I'll, I'll fly into your office. Don't worry, I'll figure out a way. I'm kidding. Listen, I'm super excited. <laughs> Uh, this is why Andy, we took the last Andy phone call. Is this is exactly you, the kind Andy's going to send you a message right now to your Facebook with my email. We'll get we'll get set up. We'll forward it to Scooter's Land. You want to do a week here? And She's going to come here for a week. We're going to train her to be to uh, be. Yeah, we'll put her up for a week and train her, and then we'll send her back to you with more talent. And then I'm going to pay for the flight to LA from there, and then you move into your cousins, and we'll start the internship. Oh my god! And Brooke, Coffee. and Brooke, yes. I'm going to buy you a four thousand dollar car. <laughs> What are you, you really I'm are. being dead serious. She can't get to your fucking office without a car. I don't know what 4,000 gets you in car world you wanna, you these wanna, days. You wanna split it? Done. Brooke, we're buying you a $4,000 car. Yo, by, by the way, my office is gonna be really pissed that I'm just giving out cars and they've been working there. Listen. They're gonna be like, Brooke, what the fuck? Brooke, you, I'm gonna hang up now because I'm about to buy you a house. <laughs> and, so, and so, congratulations, Brooke. Fucking scooter made your life. By the way, it's also Uber and Lyft, you know. You yeah, I know, but let's get her, I want her to drive a $4,000 car because there's a little bit of that ghetto magic that I'm interested in. You, you, I want the hustle and drive. Do, do you get to choose it? Yeah, it's green, but not that teal bullshit up in Seattle. It's hunter green. Brooke, we're buying you a fucking car. You've got a job. You work for Scooter. Like, you're fucking coming and getting fucking, like, IP from Vayner. Like, shit's good tonight. Oh, my God. Are you crying, you laughing, or throwing up? I'm doing <laughs> smile crying. Awesome. We love you, Brooke. Scooter, you're amazing. Care, See ya. Right. That's why we do the extra phone call. I get it. I'm not even doing a question today. That was the fucking ending of the day. I love you, brother. Love you too, buddy. Always. I'll see yeah. you soon. That was amazing. See ya. Bye. Take care.